you have some nodes, go ahead and select at least two or more. And then you can actually go up to this menu right here and click Show Transformation Handles for Selected Nodes. And it brings up this familiar box around our selected nodes, in which we can go ahead and actually stretch those out, or even click it again and rotate. Tapered lines in Inkscape can be pretty tricky. I'll show you how to simplify these up a bit. Let's head to our rectangle tool and hold control to draw a perfect square. Great. And now what we're going to do is actually rotate it by holding control to fix the angle to get a diamond type design. And with this selected, let's convert this object into a path. So now we have nodes instead of our rectangle shape. So what we'll do now is hold shift to shrink this up a bit evenly on both sides. You see we kind of have this tapered line type design. But what we want to do now is round these corners up, so we'll select both of these. And then we'll hit make selected node symmetric. And with this selected, we'll use this as our tapered line. So go ahead and copy this, control C. And then what you can do now is head to a tool such as the pencil tool and go to shape and then do from clipboard. And I'll show you what this does. As you can see, we have this cool, smooth, tapered line design now. If you're drawing a polygon with the star option selected, you'll get something like this. Did you know that there's also handles here? You can go ahead to adjust your options. And more notably, the inside handle here can rotate your angles here. Which doesn't happen to have a value up here. It can only be adjusted with this node. But it's still very cool. Here's a quick little trick. If you have an object you want to color with one of these colors down here, you just go ahead and click it. But to do the stroke, you hold shift and click. And it's that simple. And alternatively, you can also do this with the color dropper. You can go ahead and click, or you can shift click. Did you know you could create rulers in Inkscape? You just go up to view, and go to show and hide, and make sure your rulers are set. And that's what these are here. But the trick is, you can go ahead and click and drag down from here to make a ruler. And you can do the same thing on the other side. And with snapping enabled, right over here, we'll do snap bounding box corners. You can go ahead and it'll snap your objects right to the rulers here. Very cool stuff.